friends in our earlier videos uh, we discussed about the synchronized method now in this video let's talk about synchronized block right what it is when to use it what are some of the downsides to it that's what we're going to discuss okay so okay let so let me share my screen okay so friends if you haven't watched our earlier video on the synchronized method i highly recommend to watch that before coming and watching this synchronized block video because there are a lot of context we are going to refer from that video okay so friends here is the synchronized uh, uh, synchronization block demo class see here what we are doing here we are launching like a 10 boyfriend threads right once again the same boyfriend threads and the girlfriend object is coming here it is coming the boyfriend i'm just basically what i'm doing now is i'm rewriting that earlier synchronized method into a synchronized block that's all i'm doing now that's all i'm doing so now here i'm saying i'm saying the boyfriend thread i'm launching like a 10 boyfriend threads and then launching them all concurrently now look at what's going on here in this boyfriend thread run method right it is invoking the meet method on the girlfriend they want to schedule a meeting right the same example what we had earlier but the only twist i made now is instead of making this method as a synchronized method i made it as a synchronized block like see what what i have done look at this okay so now let's look into this uh, meet method right so now the our girlfriend has become a little bit more sophisticated instead of uh, earlier in our earlier synchronized method we were making this method as synchronized right the meet method as synchronized now it has been removed now the girlfriend has become sophisticated she has recruited an assistant object so on this assistant object is where it's synchronizing right so when i synchronize on this assistant object or, or it can be any object right here what will happen see the highlighted code whatever I if multiple threads try to come and execute the lines from line number 10 to line number 18 only one thread will be allowed to enter if 10 threads comes 10 boyfriend threads comes the assistant is going to say no 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 only one is going to be allowed so only one thread comes in and then it executes that all right so that's what happens see this is okay so now it has to acquire the lock of the assistant object not the okay so what is the difference okay what is the difference in between a, a synchronized method and then a synchronized block when the method is synchronized the lock is obtained on that underlying object in this case the girlfriend object if we are synchronizing on a on a synchronized block the lock is going to be obtained on this object in this case the assistant object so that is the primary difference okay let it be but as a developer what does it matter why does it matter to me right see friends if you synchronize a method say i want to do something uh, before right say i want to do um i want to execute line number uh, a, i want to do abc here i want to do def here right all those things i want to do but maybe this is my critical code path where only one thread can execute right if i make the entire method as synchronized is a b c d e f everything will be synchronized we don't have to because synchronize as a significant overhead because threads are going to be blocked and it's going to degrade your response time so this gives us a flexibility to execute only a portion of a code within a method that is a primary difference or even after this say, block i i can do something like this x y z lines of code i i want to do i can i can go and execute it but only these lines of code will get synchronized they will be executed by a single thread all these others can be executed by multi threads so that is the benefit we get by executing this synchronized method a uh, synchronized block sorry that is the benefit you get by executing that is the benefit you get by this synchronized block is this making sense yes sir yes sir okay so now what we will do we will execute this program and then we will see okay i'm going to be executing this program okay so now and i executed this program as expected you can see there is this uh, meeting with boyfriend zero started meeting with boyfriend zero ended and then meeting with boyfriend eight started eight ended right only after starting and ending the other meetings are being done so it tells 
only one thread is allowed to enter that synchronized block okay so now let's see what happens under the hood now let's take a look at the a sample uh, let's let's look at the what's happening under the hood how does the jvm executes this to do this when this program was executing i captured the the um, i ran the y crash open source script it captures a 360 degree data from your application stack one of them is a thread dump so now i took the thread dump and then i'm analyzing with the fast thread tool if you see friends here this is the thread dump analysis report of this static block code here i can see there is nine threads which is being blocked and there's nine threads which is being blocked it's telling and whenever the threads are getting blocked it's going to present you a transitive dependency graph right here it's saying it is blocking like a nine threads right these are those nine threads so these are the victims right who is being blocked let's quickly click on one of them here you can see look at the stack trace look at it what's going on it started out and then it's it's coming to acquire this meet method but when it's running acquire meet method, look at this it has acquired the lock of object this is nothing but the assistant object see if you see this type uh, this assistant object this type is an object right what right that's why you are seeing this here it's acquired this lock of the object if you ask, if you go back to our uh, synchronized video which we, the link is given in the description you will see this is acquired the lock when the when it was uh, when the meet method was a uh, synchronized here it was saying it acquired the lock of the girlfriend object right now it's saying it is it is the assistant it is reporting and then it's saying when it's trying to do the meet it is being blocked because some other thread is working on the meet synchronized block so now when i click here this is a thread who has acquired the lock of the assistant it's executing now we can see it has come along it is now it has acquired this lock it has taken this lock and then it is executing this meet method okay so um friends is this making sense yes ram Yes, okay <laughs> okay friends i want to discuss about briefly some of the advantages of the synchronized block over the synchronized method right that's what i want to be discussing so the first advantage what you get is if it is a synchronized block you can only synchronize a portion of a code within a method right if it is a synchronized method entire method will be synchronized right sometimes it doesn't have to be uh, um we we uh, we don't want a synchronize entire method because synchronizing itself as a performance over it so you want to use it very very carefully where only one thread can be allowed to go through okay so that is first advantage you get and the second advantage what you get is you can synchronize on any object say in this synchronized block right i can pass any object here whereas if if it's a synchronized method i'm going to only synchronize on that particular underlying object i cannot use different objects for synchronization i am i'm locked down with that but but why it is needed right see sometimes the the benefit what you get by this is say suppose i want to synchronize say for a particular customer only say your customer is uh, is jack and i want only cust i want to synchronize only for that customer the jack that code needs to be synchronized then i can pass the jack object here but let's say if uh, joe a different object uh, i want to execute right then i can pass the joe object here so i can synchronize that code just based on certain objects i get that facility here with a synchronized with a synchronized block code okay and then what is the some of the disadvantages of the synchronized block code over the synchronized method what are some of the disadvantages see the synchronized method the code aesthetics that is the readability and maintainability will be a little bit more better with the synchronized method see look at this here if the method is synchronized i just need to introduce this one keyword that's all i'm done but if i'm going to go for the synchronized block look what's going to happen i have to introduce one extra object on which i'm going to synchronize and then i have to introduce this line of code and then now i have to move these lines one level indentation down right and then also i have to wrap this up right there is a little bit more coding the maintainability readability is a little bit more not as trivial as it was just with a synchronized method 
this is one downside right and the other downside what you want to do is what you want to look at is the safety the code safety is comparatively higher with the synchronized method than with the block see look at this what what will happen if the code you can with in a synchronized block you can end up with getting a null pointer exceptions right what if this assistant turns out to be null you are passing it dynamically and what if this turns out to be null it can happen right then you will get a null pointer exception and also what if and there are some risky it's a little bit dangerous it's not safe if you use and say suppose i'm using a string here when you try this, jvm does a deduplication so sometimes you may think the string is unique but it may not be unique in that circumstance the threads will be allowed to go concurrently so this is a little bit synchronized block is not as safe as synchronized method right okay so any questions friends that you guys want to bring up and discuss on the synchronized block okay i assume your silence uh, you guys don't have any questions uh, thank you very much we'll connect back with you with an yet another interesting session thank you guys